Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and my new video, Get to Know Me Q&A. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel and already thanks for watching. This video is kind of a Q&A, like I posted something on my Facebook and my Instagram where people could ask me questions and it's also kind of a get to know me because I did one when I started YouTube but that was like more than a half year ago i think and it was in dutch so this video is gonna be in english so i hope everyone kind of understands it i think i'm just gonna answer the questions and talk about myself during all of that and I'm gonna grab the questions right now well wait let me try to introduce myself a little bit first i'm melissa melissa emilia nurse and I'm 23 years old, turning 24 in November. I'm from Holland, the Netherlands, and I live in Atlanta for like, I think almost two months already. It's time is going pretty fast. So, and why I'm here and for how long, we'll answer that later. Um, yeah, let's start with the questions. So the first question is, how did you come up with the idea to moving to Atlanta? Um, I always knew that I wanted to live abroad for like a year or half a year or whatever for some time. And Atlanta wasn't my first choice, but I signed up with this agency and yeah, I wanted to become an au pair. And that's just in America. and. First, I really wanted to go to LA or New York or something, but my first match was with the family that I'm with right now, and they live in Atlanta. That was just like a nut coming off the tree. And um, either way, uh, that family was from Atlanta, and my first reaction was like, Atlanta, what am I gonna do here? Like, I knew nothing about it. and. But I started doing research and I Skyped with the family and they were so nice and I felt so welcome already that I was like it's a big city and it's fun to see another place or something and yeah. So actually that's how I ended up in Atlanta. What are your goals that you are trying to achieve? Um, I want to see a lot of the world. I love to travel. I'm already kind of thinking about what I want to do after this, but I really, really don't know. Because like a part of me really wants to go home because I really miss my family, my friends, especially my little nephew. He's so cute. And like I know I'm missing like his first year and that's so hard. And I'm like, I don't want to miss any more of it, but yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do after this, but I want to travel. That's that's like a thing I really want to do more in America, but also more in Europe because I haven't seen that much of Europe, I think. And my goals. Well, I started vlogging again and making videos, and I really like that. And kind of using my Instagram a little bit more serious recently I think and if I really have goals for that I don't know but it would be fun to like see how far I could get with just trying and yeah I think that are my goals is everything bigger in America I mean food yes it's insane like people here eat so much it's crazy like especially fast food go to McDonald's or whatever and like a small coke in Holland was like this I guess but like small here is like a big one in Holland or whatever that's really true that's insane yeah every time I go out to have like dinner somewhere I like order something and I can't eat all of it I always take something home or just toss it away or whatever I hope you hear me because the nature is making so much sounds right here. It's annoying. But yeah, I love nature, but okay. Um, so yeah, everything is so much bigger. And like if you go here and eat somewhere, 
like the calories are always on it so you like always know what you're gonna eat that's in I don't really like that idea but yeah like I love Cheesecake Factory that's so good and the food there is amazing but like one meal is like 2000 calories or whatever that's insane and if you want a cheesecake afterwards like the cheesecakes have like 1600 calories in just one piece of cheesecake so yeah the food is good here but I'm trying to be a little bit healthier right now because yeah um how do you edit Instagram TV um yeah I haven't really figured out what the best thing is to edit with for Instagram TV but I can name a few apps I have like I made this one from Hilton Head and um, yeah the first thing I did was just create stories it's so annoying and um, so I just had the apps for the stories and the ones I use for that are story art and unfold that are the main apps I use for that and after that I like put everything together with pocket video but now I have heard of this app called Rush and that looked very good but I haven't tried it yet so I think I'm really in a bad place to record I think I need to move I really know if this is a lot of a lot better but maybe out of the sun so yeah I haven't tried that one yet but maybe it's a good one I don't know um, how I edit my pictures mostly I use Lightroom actually always use Lightroom and I made some presents for like my by myself with YouTube tutorials so I use some of those sometimes but recently I started using the one from a Dutch YouTube sorry so my battery quit so I had to change it um okay um the one I use right now is from Anon Silstra and she's a Dutch YouTuber if you go to her page yeah you get the link right there okay like the next question is how is it possible to post that much with a post that's from a good quality um like normally when i go somewhere i make a lot of pictures i make pictures when i'm by myself because i have that i don't really know how you call that in english let me look tripod i have this tripod and um it stands by himself it's very easy you can it's i think it's kind of like this small package and then it's very little it's easy to take with me and i travel alone sometimes so yeah it's easy to always be able to make pictures of yourself and i think when i go somewhere i try to make more than one good picture so i can like yeah post more pictures from that same day and I think that's how I do it and good quality I mean I make pictures with my iPhone 8 plus and yeah I guess they make pretty decent pictures can you tell me more about your work yeah I get that question a lot um, I work as an au pair and that's why I'm in Atlanta of course and I take care of a little girl who's almost 15 months so I think I'm very lucky to only have one girl because I know some people who have five kids to take care of so yeah I think I'm pretty lucky you work 40 to 45 hours a week and people think that's much but I think you kind of get used to it and um, yeah you live like with the family like au pair is kind of the same thing as a nanny because I tell people like I work as an au pair and they're like what and then I'm like it's kind of a nanny and then they're like oh so I actually take care of the children like 
if you have older children you get them to school or sport activities and whatever they have to do when you're on duty and um, actually that's what you're doing just take care of the children and um, you get your own room and stuff like that I'm pretty lucky too because I get like the whole own basement here for myself like where I'm sitting outside right now is kind of where I'm sitting outside and they are not sitting here so I also have like a kitchen and a bathroom and a kind of living room and my bedroom of course for myself so I'm pretty lucky I think and yeah actually being an au pair is just taking care of the kids it's pretty easy to I don't know how I should say it otherwise or something you also have to get like six credits because it's kind of a Pro, yeah, how do you say that? It's kind of a like program you're in, going to do when you're an au pair, so you have to get six credits. Um, so you can like choose to go to school like close to where you live. Like I could do like an English class or something in Atlanta, but I didn't like that, so I decided to go take two weekend courses and then one of them is going to Niagara Falls on September and you know no in December I'm going to New York and then I will do the New York in the holidays course and I just thought that was more fun of course it costs you a little bit more money because the family just pay up to $500 for your classes but I thought it was worth it because I want to see the world and I already been to New York but I love New York so much that I really 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 wanted to go back so yeah I'm so happy to go back if there are like more questions about something just feel free to respond in the comments or something and I will give you the answer maybe a lot of people want to know how much money I make that's kind of the same Everyone like gets the same I guess. It's like $200 a week. That's not that much compared to what I yeah, got in Holland when I worked full time. But I mean you live here for free and you can eat here for free with the family. They have to give you three meals a day. So I mean it's doable and yeah. You can you have a lot of parks here, so especially right now in the summertime, spring and fall is very good in Atlanta. Just go to the park and stuff like that. That's not going to cost you a lot of money. So because I want to travel more outside of the city, but yeah, I think that's kind of everything I need to tell about it. I made already made like another video if you in English. If you like scroll down, there's like a Q and A au pair get to know me I'm moving to or something movie called like that I think a video and that's where I kind of explain everything about the whole signing up to the program so if you have more questions maybe you should look at that video first and of course if you have any other questions after watching both videos feel free to ask another question did you meet a lot of people Actually, I think I did. I mean, I'm here for like two months almost and I think I met a few people like being an au pair like you have a cluster meeting every month so that's where you get to meet a lot of people and you also have like a Facebook group Au Pair Atlanta in my case so yeah, I actually signed up there. I just posted something up there like Hi everyone, I'm new here and who wants to do something or whatever, you know, and that was how I got some responses and how I met some people and they already did a lot of nice things, so I guess I met a lot of people there. I also met a few Dutch girls, which is amazing because now I'm able to speak Dutch here and that's so good. Like sometimes you just want to speak Dutch and not think about it. I mean, I think my English is pretty decent or something. I hope you think so too, but I mean, you have to think about what you're going to say like almost the whole time. It gets easier, but 
especially my first month I was here I was so tired just of speaking English like you can't just say something without thinking about it or whatever like um, what are the things you really want to see or do in Atlanta well that's a funny one because I got that question and like right before I got it I have to look in my album I found something that I really want to do I found like an Atlanta Georgia destinations you can miss list and there were some things on it like that I didn't do yet and I really want to do like stone mountain hike that's like a mountain so yeah actually the name says it all but that's where I want to go um, Swan House I really want to go there too because they use that house in Hunger Games movie and I think that's so awesome like they shoot so many movies and series in Atlanta because filming here is like cheap so now it's cool like watching movies and I see Atlanta here and I'm like hey I walk there and hey I walk there and that's I love it I mean I love movies and series so yeah amazing um, and I found another one with like 50 things to do in Atlanta like you have a red phone boot bar and I was like oh that's cool I really want to go to the world of coca-cola because Atlanta is like coca-cola is from Atlanta so I want to see how they make it stuff like that I really want to go to the zoo um, yeah there are a lot of things I want to visit actually yeah so I have a lot of things to do and I really want to do a lot of things here that's what I like about Atlanta too like they have so many things to do here and yeah I just really like that yeah because I mean you work a lot because 40 to 45 hours is kind of much I think it's kind of a lot 40 to 45 hours is like full time so I'm off on like one whole day a week and like a half day like today it's Saturday and I'm working from 8 till 12 and it's like almost 12 now but my host mom was home earlier so she was like you can go do your thing you're off earlier today so that's super nice but um, and actually you have a right to like have one full weekend off once a month so yeah that's also a good thing uh, another question are you going to stay longer than a year because I see you're having so much fun over there I don't know I actually I'm just here for like two months so I don't really know yet what I'm going to do after this but I think I have a lot of time left to decide what I want to do like another thing is if you like decide to do it for another year you can go back home and that's the thing that I really don't like like the idea of not being able to go home I mean you can go home but then you can come back because of the visa or stuff so I think that's the, the yeah I think that's the one thing that's holding me back for extending or something because if something happens or whatever I just want to be able to go back home and yeah so it probably won't extend I think I'm going home after a year but I don't know if I'm going to stay in Holland yet for a year like maybe I want to go somewhere else or travel a lot I have no idea actually I have a very funny question after 10 years favorite singer this one is from a friend from high school and I was so into Justin Bieber that time I was like one of his biggest fans I think like I had my whole room was covered in Justin Bieber posters you couldn't see like the walls anymore everything was just Justin Bieber I went to all of his concerts and I loved them all and yeah I was just like a very big Bieber fan and it was so bad that like people at school called me Melissa Bieber and now he's trying to be funny or something but I will answer it I mean my favorite singer right now is still Justin Bieber I'm not ashamed of it I love him till death okay um no I'm I'm not kidding I really love Justin Bieber I mean 
I think all of his songs during the years, like, I grew up with Justin Bieber, like, when he was, like, that young guy, I was that young girl, and we went, I feel like we kind of grew up together, and now he's just, like, an adult male. And I really like his music, I still like his music, I always like his music. So, yeah, he's still my favorite singer. Yeah. Hope you're happy hearing this. I'm still proud to be a believer. Okay, back to more serious questions. Um, at which place would, at which place do you want to live eventually? I have no idea actually. I think um, probably at the end of all of my traveling that I want to do, I will probably end up in Holland, but I don't know for sure. What I want to do is like, I mean, now I'm in the US and when I'm done with working for a year, I have tr uh, 30 more days to travel here. So I'm planning on doing like a whole road trip, whatever. Like I want to see a lot of the US as much as possible in those 30 days. And um, then I'll go back home. And I think I'm going to stay there for a while because I haven't seen anyone that long. And I'm thinking about going back to Holland and staying there for a while working but also travel in Europe a lot at that time I also still want to go to Aruba for like half a year or whatever that's just something I really want to do so yeah I also really want to go back there for a while but where I end up eventually I have no idea I really don't know looking more forward to the trip to New York or the Niagara Falls trip that's so hard I'm thinking Niagara Falls but I'm only saying that because I've never been there and when I see the pictures it looks so cool and yeah I think Niagara Falls but I'm also very excited to go to New York again because I'm going during the holidays and it would be so cool like I went during the summer so it's so different right now like they have all the Christmas decoration and I really love Christmas and stuff so I'm so excited for that one too but I guess I will say Niagara Falls for this one because it's also very close to Canada like it's a 10 to 15 minute walk to Canada so I think I'm gonna go to Canada too like probably not really see the whole country or whatever but I can say I've been there so I'm traveling to the country where my favorite singer is born and raised. Um, yeah, I think the Niagara Falls trip is yeah, the answer. What is your goal? Do you want to stay there to travel or something else? And how did you get the idea of traveling to Atlanta? I think I already kind of answered that question. like. I'm not gonna stay here I think I mean I'm here for a year but after that I think I'm leaving and um, like I said I didn't came here to I mean I'm working here of course I came in to travel because that's like one of my main things I want to do but and like going to Atlanta wasn't really my choice that was just because the family I matched with there's like something here. I really get so annoyed of the all the bugs right here. Like I said, going to Atlanta wasn't really my choice. It's just that the family I matched with lives here. So I ended up being here. And actually with no expectations of Atlanta, I really love Atlanta already. And it feels like home. I think if I had like the people from Holland, I definitely could live here because it's a very big city and there's so much to do but there's also a lot of nature and everything is kind of like New York is everything is so crowdy and here everything is more spread it out or something like they call it the city in the forest and that's really true like you have so many trees here and like where I live I don't have the feeling that I live in a city or something you know but everything is so close so i don't know i really like that you have so many places to go to and 
I really like Atlanta so far, but I've only been here for two months, but I like it so far and I think I will stay to like it and I really hate all the bugs here. That's something that's so annoying. Like all the bugs, there are so many mosquitoes here. I have so many mosquito bites. Just annoying. I think I've answered all my questions here. Yeah. So those were all the questions like if you come up with more questions just feel free to ask i think and i hope you like this video it's not really much to look at because it's like me just talking but um yeah i can say i'm back and um yeah this was a q a video get to know me yeah i hope you got to know me a little bit better i'm starting my weekly vlogs pretty soon so subscribe to my channel if you want to see what i'm doing here in atlanta how a life is in our paris like and to see my traveling like going to the niagara falls and new york and all that stuff i will make vlogs again and post them online i hope you like this video leave a comment thumbs up if you liked it and um don't forget to subscribe, that way you'll get like a notification or something when I post a new video, so you will be the first one to know. And I also want to do make some challenges on YouTube with another girl, another au pair, Abby. So like if you know something funny, like a funny challenge for us to do and record, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, I think this was all. Have a nice day and I'll see you on my next video.